Hi, Rob here, and coming up, Benedict Cumberbatch joins the Marvel Cinematic Universe in Doctor Strange. Thank you for checking out R&B Reviews. Doctor Strange is the latest character from Marvel Comics to get the big screen treatment, and it may be the most complex Marvel film. Benedict Cumberbatch plays Stephen Strange, a brilliant but narcissistic neosurgeon. After a horrible car accident, Strange's hands are damaged and is unable to continue his career. After many attempts to find a cure to heal his hands, he goes to Nepal where he studies under the Ancient One, played by Tilda Swinton, who teaches him the ways of magic and alternate realities. And with these new powers, Strange soon discovers that he must protect the Earth from a deadly enemy who is out to destroy it. Doctor Strange I found to be a refreshing entry in the Marvel film universe. It is not just an all-action popcorn blockbuster. It is a moody, complex, atmospheric movie. And also, I found the film to be darker and more dramatic than some of the other Marvel films. There are There is some wisecracking humor, but it's more dry here. But what similarities um, Strange has, for example, is like Tony Stark, is that he's sarcastic and he's a bit arrogant. He is a bit hard to root for in the beginning because he is such a jerk, but as the film goes on and as he goes through his journey, he becomes more likable and we do start to care about him. Benedict Cumberbatch, I thought, was terrific in the movie with his performance. I also like the actor who played Carl Mondo, who is a sort of mentor to Strange, and he's also close with the Ancient One. Um, I didn't really like the villain here, played by Mads Mikkelsen. He's a, he's a former student of the Ancient One, and he I just found him to be so bland, except for the makeup, where he kind of has these dark circles around his eyes. I think without that, I probably would have forgotten all about him. Um, Rachel McAdams plays Strange's former girlfriend, and she isn't really that memorable either. There, are, there was some controversy with Tilda Swinton as the Ancient One, but I really liked her performance and I thought she handled the subtle humor very well. The movie is a bit quick in the beginning in order to provide, to provide a backstory uh, before moving on to the main plots of the film, and the movie does throw a lot of information about the different worlds about, but my suggestion is to just go with it, otherwise if you try to pick it apart you'll probably get lost. Um, with this movie I like the theme that people can be complex, you know, questioning what you taught or realizing that you are not really the center of, the, of humanity, as uh, Doctor Strange discovers. Uh, there are some action scenes, but I think that they are very well done. I thought the CGI here was very good and I didn't think it was very distracting. I found Doctor Strange to be a refreshing entry. Um, I hope we can see him and Robert Downey Jr. together um, in a Marvel film. Maybe since they both played Sherlock Holmes, perhaps they can make some Sherlock jokes, <laughs> you know. Um, I do recommend Doctor Strange. I thought it was different. I thought it was well acted all around. It can be a little bit muddled and I was let down by the main villain, but I think it's worth checking out in the theaters if you haven't caught it yet. All right, that's my review of Doctor Strange. If you've seen it, go ahead and post your comments in the comment box below. And if you're interested, check out the main page. Check out some other reviews that you can watch in the theaters or in the comforts of your own home. And if you're interested, consider being a subscriber. Thank you very much for watching.